Today, everyone, I have got the summer book haul for, well, the summer. Hello, fellow podquesters. So, we got a full array of nice books over here. We got every type of book that you can not think of. And, well, let's get right into it. So, the first book on the list is Warriors the Broken Code. The final book in that season, The Light in the Mist. You know, Bramble Stars taken over body and who can control the spirits of the dead. Star Clan gone, yeah, not looking too good, I might, as, as I may say it myself. And it's it's definitely gonna be interesting, but I mean, look at that cover. An insane cover as usual, by the way. Awesome, gonna enjoy that. Bro, Warriors has been going on for like seven seasons now, like when's it gonna end? I have a feeling that's coming soon, by the way. Next is Humans, a brief history how of how we all did up. And honestly, I was immediately drawn by this amazing title and also by the fact that it was a history book and I, I don't read too many history books and if it's if it's if it's written wittily then hey I'll have fun with it and it, it seems it seems it seems wittily written just from the title you know what I mean it's gonna be great next is Yunha Lee's newest Rick Riordan presence book it's actually a thousand words novel so it's not gonna be super long um a uh, I mean, it's yeah, it's all. Oh, what am I saying? No, it's not gonna be super long because, as you can see, it, is, it isn't. It isn't exactly you know super steak. But I'm definitely gonna enjoy it because it is a Rick Riordan presence book. You know how the last time came was Dragon Pearl, if you guys remember. I didn't a hundred percent enjoy that book. I wasn't kind of mad about it, just just because of it. But I maybe maybe I will enjoy enjoy this this book. And this is the second book in the Dragon Pearl series, like I just said. And I'll have fun with it. And let's see what happens, shall we? Next, this my um, English tutor has been yelling at me to read this book for the past like half a year, like six months. And that's the Wheel of Time series, and this is the first book in the Wheel of Time series, and I think there's a 12 something like that books, a dozen books. Uh, the Eye of the World by Robert Jordan himself. And uh, I think there was uh, a couple months ago, there was a Prime Video um, adaptation. I think that's, uh, people say that's pretty good, I'm not sure what to do about that, but I'm certainly gonna read this one first and see how I like it, then perhaps watch the adaptation as well. Next we've got The Cursed Carnival and Other Calamities, and it is a short story collection um, of, of, of Rick Riordan Presence book, and it's co-written by a, a lot of different people, and Rick Riordan, and, and we're, we're gonna enjoy it. There's gonna be a lot of different short stories with different myths in it. And I think it's gonna be quite funny and pretty fun to read. Now, this one is a Newberry Metal book that I saw. I think this is the newest Newberry Metal, The Last Quentista. I have no idea if I pronounced that right. I'm sorry if you took offense, but I'm not very good at it. But it looks quite good. And I, I don't know, I, it's a Newberry Metal honor, a Newberry, Newberry Metal, you know, it's, it's my duty to read it, you know, it's, it looks good. Then we've got the Warriors of Starless Clan Book 1. Um, just from what I can tell, Star Clan didn't come back because, well, Book 6 is the last series we know, Star Clan was cut off from the clans. From what I can tell, a Starless Clan! No Star Clan, maybe. Just, just a little bit of a guess, and I'm really curious to see how that changes the Warrior Society because the thing that makes Warriors special, the Warrior Clan special, is their connection to Star Clan and the fact that they know they're going to an afterlife where where uh, the Star Clan is waiting and they, you know, they're in heaven, you know. And if they if they don't, they go to a sort of hell called the Dark Forest, and that's what they know, and that's what makes them special. They have prophecies, they have all these different things that makes them different from normal cats. But if Star Clan is gone, then what's the point in all of that? I mean, is there really a reason for the clans to stay? I'm excited and also kind of worried about what's gonna happen next, but nevertheless, I am I am raring to go and read that one. And now I got these three Korean, well, some of them are just English translations, but three Korean books that I need to read. This is Pest by, The Pest by Albert um, Kami. Kami? I, I, Kami? I have no idea how to say it in English. Um, obviously, he's the guy who wrote The Stranger. You know, the one about the psychopath. 
Um, I'm probably gonna read this like an actual thicker version of this, like I bought it, it just hasn't come yet, but as a representation I got this nice thin edited version that I have, so this is this is something that I'm gonna do. And this one This one is Chisuk and I have no idea what that is, but um, uh, we're taking it in the Korean literature course next year, so I'm gonna read that. And this is Kapitan Kapitan Lee. Kapitan Lee, which I have no idea what that is, by the way. I mean, that's you know that sounds like nonsense in English. It's, it's also either nonsense or some a word that is so old that I do not know what it means in Korean. So it's yeah, I'm gonna enjoy reading it. it's a nice little short story, also for the Korean literature course next year. And these are some of the books that I borrowed from the library. These are all stuff that I bought. This is Korea, Korean folk, tale, folk and fairy tales translated into an English, nice English text. And basically, um, I'm reading this because I'm working on a, a uh, new book that requires me to know some, a lot of Korean, the Korean fairy tales and myth. So that's why I, ha I, I borrowed this book because I thought it would be perfect. And similar caliber to that one is The Book of Measuring Beings by George Louis Borges. I just flipped through this, you know, you, you got that nice, nice ancient looking side that, by the way, this is on purpose. I've seen this done in like the Camillo books, like uh, The Tale of Devorex, The Sprix, um, it's, it's pretty good. And it has a lot of different like myths from Greek and Greek and a lot of different mythologies like Greek, um, Egyptian. English even so I'm definitely gonna enjoy this one. Um, I think it's gonna be very fun and very helpful because I am a fantasy novel writer We got silver so this this looks really 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 fun and I like this is like a like a Korean based oriental fantasy novel and it is about these immortal tigers and fighting some, I don't know, I don't really know because I haven't read the book obviously. But I'm definitely going to enjoy this one, it looks really really interesting. I mean look at that cover, it's gorgeous. So that I borrowed it from the library, thought it would be fun. Then this is the book that I had to return to the library because they were doing their yearly inventory or checking how many books they have. So I have it back now, I read half of it, I'm going to read the rest of it and review the full review soon. Then we got the newest Paolini book. I hope this is the newest Paolini book. Did he publish any new books? The, the newest Paolini book that I've heard of is this book. To Sleep in a Sea of Stars. So I've seen a lot of uh, mixed reviews about this book. Like on one side they say, okay, the world building and the world is so complex and so great and it's such an immersive story. The other side says that it is so complex and it's really, really hard to understand so they couldn't enjoy it. Let's see what happens for me. Uh, I consider myself a decently good at understanding complex worlds because, yeah, duh. But I'm, I think it's, I'm, I think I'm gonna enjoy it. Like just from what I can know, it's a Paolini book first off, and he writes really nice books like Aragon, Hello, and just from the title and just from the sci-fi vibe I'm getting from this, I think I'm gonna enjoy it. And I love that Paolini didn't go for the dragon fantasy this time. They went for a sci-fi, from what I can tell. So, space holds countless secrets, she just found the deadliest one. Definitely gonna enjoy it. And finally, an academic one. Whoa, why? So, this is the one that I'm probably not gonna review in a sense. I'm gonna read through it and find some um, different like psychological terms that I can perhaps look through because I'm interested in psychology, mostly because when I write my books and when I write my different fantasy books, I need to have a psychological profile of each different character so that I can write their motivations and the changes and their way, their mannerisms connected to their psychology properly so that the characters feel alive and three-dimensional. So basically I just thought that a little bit of going through a little bit of this psychology book and going through a little bit of the terms would help later on when I work on my book. Well it, it's already helping, psychology always helps but I thought I might as well have a little bit more official knowledge of psychology rather than the scraps and pieces of the knowledge of knowledge that I carry around in my brain because I need it for my novel. And that is pretty much it. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 books here, close to 20 books in fact, and we will have a lot of fun reading through everything. And have a great day everyone.
get ready for these reviews to pour out during the summer. And like always, your plot cluster and the plot cluster. Have a great day, everybody, and goodbye. I shall take my leave. Thank you.